All right, so we're going to look at a sample of how to use an AND function in a validation rule. Um, so first, let's check at the definition here in the Salesforce helper. Checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true. So when we're using this AND function, any criteria or logical steps that we want to enter need to be true. So in this case, I'm saying AND, and then I have you know three steps here. I like to separate them out by entering uh, rows. Uh, the city must be blank, the title has to be blank, and if the status is working contacted, then we want a validation rule to fire to say, hey, city and title can't be blank when the pick list value is working contacted. Uh, so there are other scenarios you, where you might want one of many things to be true. Um, so let's say, you know, want maybe city, not city and title has to be blank, or, you know, city or title has to be blank. That's when we would use the or function uh, and then bundle that in with an and to check for the status. I'll make a separate video on that and make sure to link it. Uh, but just a straightforward and function, all these things need to be true. That's all we're measuring for. So here I can see uh, title is blank, city is blank. Uh, I'm trying to flip this to working contacted. Boom, I get my validation. City and title cannot be blank when a lead is in contacted status. Uh, and that's just a simple example of how to use an AND function um, and look out for more formula videos.